Hey, what's up guys? It's Da Vinci, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make a Sofago slash SSG Kobe type beat. But yeah, I usually make a lot of soulful, smooth, R&B, jazzy type beats, but uh, I wanted to try doing something different today and making something a little more energetic, trap style. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so I'm gonna start using a pad uh, synth type sound. I'm gonna be using Prophet. Uh, from the Alteria bundle. I'm gonna just start with some chords. I think I'm gonna play at 150 BPM. Uh, 149. So yeah, let's begin. <laughs> So I'm gonna take uh, one, I'm gonna like chop this up a little bit really quick and try to come up with something. Uh, so yeah, here's the chord progression we got. Yeah, something pretty simple and catchy. Uh, from here, I'm gonna get, find like a lead slash synth sound. Let me try this. We'll, we'll use this, why not? <laughs> so. Oops, I messed up. Let me retry that. So that's kind of that's like I don't know that I guess that's good. So we'll just quantize this. Yeah, and uh, I said I was playing in 149 BPM, but I forgot to state what key I'm playing in. Uh, I'm playing in C C sharp minor, so. Yeah, C sharp minor. We're gonna try to find a lead really quick. I kinda like that lead maybe. Let's see. right here uh let me quantize it zoom in quantize <laughs> some uh, electric piano runs. I usually incorpor always incorporate some roads in my beats. So I'm gonna do that with the same thing here. Uh, I'm just gonna put some RC20 on. Actually, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some RC20 on the pads too. And the lead, uh, just nothing crazy, just some reverb. Turn down the other stuff. Do this real quick. <laughs> Too, is I want to take us on the high end of this pad. All right, so from here, I'm gonna mute this real quick. Yeah. Messed up at the end, but it's all good. We're just gonna fix that real quick. Um, 
just quantize out here right here i put out a key uh oh, i didn't play out a key i just messed up a little bit so there we go so So we're just going to put some chorus on that lead right there to make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, now I'm about to do the 808. Uh, I think I'll use this 808 from the Da Vinci Kit Volume 1. This is like the 808 I've used in Go Dumb. It's just, I don't know, like, I've been using this 808. Uh, I've, I use the 808 like, a lot, so we're going to use in this one because it's pretty hype. So like I said, it's T-Shop Minor. All the other sounds. There could be a lot more added to this beat, but like I said, this is kind of a tutorial, so this isn't like a super amazing beat. So I just want to show you guys kind of like how I would go about making a beat like this. But yeah, I would I would definitely probably spend a little more time on this. But it's it's still a good beat. It's not terrible. Uh yeah, so this is how this is what I'll do for the intro. I'll just take out the first two bar, take out the drums in the first two bars. I'm 
have my tag and then yeah, so this is like the finished beat. Bill Vinci got the Ooh, let me turn it down. Bill Vinci got the cold. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I was just trying something different, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are interested in any of the sounds I used in this video, they're gonna be available in the Da Vinci Kits, Volume 1, 2, and 3. Uh, they're available, link in bio. They come with my drum sounds, loop melodies I produced. They're super dope, so yeah. I appreciate everyone who watches the, these videos. You guys are the best, I love all y'all. But yeah, thank you for watching, peace guys.